do you think he would have killed you? Oh, I, yeah, I do. I think he would have killed me. Almost nine months ago, Philip Bowling escaped from a post jail rehab center for treating opioid addiction. He made it to Scott County, where his wife says he held her at gunpoint. That suspect managed to dodge police and 10 News reporter Caitlin Keenahan spoke with his wife, a woman who says she is still living in fear. What started as a happy relationship turned into Andrea Bowling's worst nightmare. That's just how addiction is. Her husband, Philip Ross Bowling, became addicted to opiates. When Andrea filed for divorce, his behavior toward her turned violent. And he just, he pointed it at me and he said, I'm killing myself and you're coming with me. And I guess the only thing that I can remember going through my mind was my kids. And I just said, don't. Don't do this to our kids, please. He held Andrea at gunpoint and a bystander called authorities. He jumps up and he takes off out the back door. We took off out the front door and jumped in the police car. In August, the TBI placed Philip Ross Bowling on its most wanted list. TBI said they have conducted several searches and have an agent on the case. Andrea just wants answers. If he is not alive, I want to be able to bury him. I need to be able to, you know, put, put my pistol up and be able to come outside. 